What are your predictions for Bitcoin's price after the halving? Have you thought about it? Now, that's a question on everyone's mind right now. As we gear up for the next Bitcoin halving event in 2024, the predictions and speculations are hitting the roof. From enthusiasts to skeptics, everyone's got a take on it. But hey, what's your prediction? Yes, you. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Now, you may ask why the sudden interest in Bitcoin's price after the halving. Well, if you've been keeping an eye on the news, you'd know that the buzz around Bitcoin has been growing louder and louder. From institutional investments to the rise of Bitcoin ETFs, there's a lot happening. And let's not forget the predictions of key players like BlackRock, Fidelity, and ARK Investments. So, are you ready to dive deep into this fascinating world of Bitcoin and its potential price rise post-halving? Then buckle up, because we're about to explore what the experts are saying. And trust me, it's going to be a thrilling ride. Let's dive into what the experts are saying about the potential rise in Bitcoin's price after the halving. Numerous experts have weighed in on the potential rise in Bitcoin's price after the halving. One of the most astounding predictions making rounds in the financial world is the potential market capitalization of Bitcoin, reaching a staggering $75 trillion by the year 2030. This prediction is not just a shot in the dark. It's backed by the rise of spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds, commonly known as ETFs, and the increased interest shown by institutional investors. Key players like BlackRock and Fidelity have emerged as major issuers of these Bitcoin ETFs. Their involvement signals a shift in the perception of Bitcoin, from a speculative asset to a mainstream investment. The impact of these institutional giants cannot be overstated. Their entry into the Bitcoin market could provide the much needed stability and credibility, factors that are essential for any asset to thrive. But it's not just the institutional investors that are optimistic about Bitcoin's future. Kathy Wood, the CEO of ARK Investments, is predicting a potential Bitcoin price of $3.8 million by 2030. This bold prediction reflects the growing confidence in Bitcoin's potential to reshape the financial landscape. It's an endorsement of the belief that Bitcoin could be more than just a digital currency. It could be a store of value, a hedge against inflation, and a new asset class that could rival or even surpass gold in terms of returns. However, it's important to understand that these predictions are not guarantees. Bitcoin is a highly volatile asset. Its price is influenced by a myriad of factors, from regulatory changes to technological advancements and even global economic conditions. Therefore, while the future of Bitcoin looks promising, it's also filled with uncertainties. Moreover, it's worth noting the role of the upcoming Bitcoin halving event in 2024. This event, which halves the reward for mining new Bitcoins, could trigger a significant supply shock. Historically, such events have led to substantial price increases. However, the magnitude and timing of these price increases can vary widely, adding yet another layer of uncertainty to Bitcoin's future price movements. Despite these optimistic predictions, experts also advise caution and careful consideration of various factors influencing Bitcoin's price movements. They emphasize the need for investors to understand the risks associated with investing in Bitcoin and to make informed decisions based on their own risk tolerance and investment objectives. As the saying goes, don't invest more than you can afford to lose. And with Bitcoin, that advice holds true more than ever. While we're on the topic of Bitcoin, it's worth noting the behavior of Bitcoin whales during market fluctuations. Now, if you're wondering who or what these whales are, let me enlighten you. In the Bitcoin universe, whales are the large stakeholders, the big players who hold vast amounts of the digital currency. And interestingly, these whales have been showing a certain optimism, even during times of market instability. Take August, for example, when the market was experiencing a downturn. Did these whales panic? Far from it. In fact, they accumulated a whopping one and a half billion dollars worth of assets. That's right. While other investors were perhaps biting their nails and watching the market nervously, these whales were calmly increasing their stakes. This behavior isn't random or reckless, but rather it's a strategic approach. By accumulating more assets during a downturn, these whales are essentially betting on a brighter future for Bitcoin. They're showing their belief in a bullish long-term trend for the digital currency, despite the immediate market fluctuations. But why are they doing this? Well, there are a few factors to consider. For one, the upcoming halving events could potentially influence Bitcoin's price positively. Moreover, 
there's a predicted supply shortage of Bitcoin in the future, which could also drive up its value. So what's the takeaway from all of this? It seems that these Bitcoin whales are not just weathering the storm, but are actually using it to their advantage. They're strategically building their positions, betting on a bullish future for Bitcoin. And while the market's short-term outlook might be volatile, these whales are focusing on the long-term potential of Bitcoin. Even in periods of volatility, these whales are signaling that there could be a silver lining in the long term. Now, let's turn our attention to a comparison of investments in stocks, gold, and Bitcoin over the past decade. Investing, as we know, is a matter of balancing risk and reward. Over the last 10 years, stocks, gold, and Bitcoin have all offered different levels of each. Let's take a closer look at each one. Let's start with stocks. The stock market has historically been a reliable path to wealth, and the past decade has been no exception. The S&P 500, a broad representation of the U.S. stock market, has seen an annualized return of roughly 10% over the past decade. However, it's not always smooth sailing. Stocks are prone to volatility, and downturns can be severe, as we saw during the financial crisis of 2008. Next, let's talk about gold. Gold is often seen as a safe haven, a place to park your money during times of economic uncertainty. Over the past 10 years, the price of gold has increased by approximately 60%. However, gold does not generate any income or dividends, so your return is entirely dependent on the price increasing. And then, there's Bitcoin. The past decade has been a wild ride for Bitcoin investors. Since its inception in 2009, Bitcoin has experienced astronomical growth, even accounting for its notorious volatility. If you had invested in Bitcoin 10 years ago, you would have seen a return on investment that far outpaces stocks and gold. However, Bitcoin's journey has been far from smooth. The crypto market is known for its dramatic price swings, and Bitcoin is no exception. Despite the volatility, major players like BlackRock and Fidelity have shown increased interest in Bitcoin, with predictions of a market capitalization reaching $75 trillion by 2030. This surge in interest is largely due to the rise of Bitcoin ETFs and increased institutional investment. But remember, investing is not just about chasing the highest returns. It's about understanding your risk tolerance and diversifying your portfolio to spread the risk. It's about strategic accumulation, much like the Bitcoin whales who continue to invest amidst market fluctuations. In conclusion, stocks, gold, and Bitcoin have all had their moments in the sun over the past decade. Stocks offer steady, reliable growth, gold provides a safe haven during economic uncertainty, and Bitcoin, while volatile, offers the potential for astronomical returns. Each has its highs and lows, and each has its place in a well-diversified portfolio. As you can see, each investment has had its own unique journey over the past decade. Let's summarize what we've covered in this video. We've delved into the expert predictions on Bitcoin's price, emphasizing the potential market capitalization of $75 trillion by 2030. We acknowledge the influence of spot Bitcoin exchange-traded funds and institutional investments, with key players like BlackRock and Fidelity leading the charge. We also navigated the intriguing behavior of Bitcoin whales during market fluctuations, observing their bullish sentiment despite the volatility. These major stakeholders have shown a strategic approach, accumulating assets even amidst market downturns, signaling a positive long-term outlook. Finally, we compared the performance of investments in stocks, gold, and Bitcoin over the past decade. Each has its own merits and risks, and their profitability varies based on a myriad of factors. Remember, investing always comes with risks, so it's important to do your own research and consider various factors before making any decisions. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below.